キャンセルコールオーバー。Thank you, ma'am. And cancel, and then cancel me too. Sure thing. My question is about a job guarantee proposal. On Wednesday, the 23rd of September, the Parliament of Tasmania passed a motion calling on the government to investigate a job guarantee. And the idea of the job guarantee is that local councils would be the conduit to、um, provide some of the, the work for people who are willing to work and volunteer for a program. So,、um, On the 28th of January, I actually asked a question about young people in Kingborough not in education, employment, and training. And on the 11th of February, I received a very helpful, helpful response using ABS data, which said extrapolating from those figures,、uh, it suggests that there are 500 young people in Kingborough who are currently not in education, employment, or training. But this is a, a very rough estimate.、Um, so, my question is、um, thinking now of, about that、um, job guarantee motion that passed the State Parliament, has the Kingborough Council、um, considered what work it might provide if a job guarantee、uh, were to pass? And is there a, a plan to do more work on a job guarantee to employ Kingborough's、uh, not in education, employment, and training young people? Thanks.、Uh, Councillor Court, over, unless the general manager corrects me, the answer is no.、Um, And、um, you'd be welcome as a member of this council to bring a notice of motion around a job guarantee if you wish.、Um, I did note that the Tasmanian Parliament、um, passed a, a motion、uh, to that effect, but、um, as a councillor, you'd be welcome to bring an item like that to us at any time. So we move to、uh, the first of our more substantive items, and that is on page seven, and it's the North West Bay River Multi Use Trail Feasibility Study Community Engagement. There's a recommendation on page nine. Would anyone like to move it? Councillor Cordova and Councillor Fox. Councillor Cordova. Thank you very much, Mayor, and I'm very pleased and、um, privileged to、um, move this motion and also to move this、uh, process forward. So what we're looking at here tonight is the,、um, the report that provides a summary of feedback in relation to the North West Bay River Multi-Use Trail Feasibility Study and、uh, the proposed amendments in response to what was a really successful community consultation process、um, to be incorporated into the final report for endorsement. So I am pleased to report that the key message here is that there is overwhelming support for a multi-use trail With a total of 160 people being engaged in this process, contributing to 125 ideas, 474 voters, and 25 comments via the OurSafe platform. So this、um, process ran for four weeks, and I think it's a terrific、um, testament to,、uh, testament to um, the popularity of open space and recreational activities and improving health and wellbeing and getting out into nature.、Um, clearly, there's an enormous appetite. In the community for these kinds of options, and indeed, as the municipality grows in population,、um, there will be a greater call for it, as is reflected in our Tracks and Trails strategy. So, what I like about this, and I, I want to pay special thanks to Miss Sprott, Sue Sprott, for、um, our recreation officer, for all the amazing work in putting this together.、Um, What we're seeing now is that rather than these things sitting on a shelf, we're now asking for some money to progress into the next stage and to incorporate some of the、um, some of the, the community concerns and also the community ideas that were there. So part of this feasibility study was to assess the natural and cultural values in the area and the corridor of the preferred route to enable the route to avoid and minimise any impact. On significant conservation and cultural values, and so this is part of that ongoing work that that will be undertaken. One of these findings, importantly, one of these findings of the feasibility study was that the trail can be routed and constructed to minimise impacts on natural values, and we will be doing further detailed impact studies、uh, that will be required to avoid any impacts to threatened flora and fauna、uh, or habitat, and detailed Aboriginal heritage surveys、um, will be required as well. There was,、um, as I mentioned before, terrific community engagement、um, on this, and it wasn't without its、um, criticisms and constructive criticisms, I might add.、Um, so there were a few issues which have been identified, and, and some of those have been ameliorated、uh, in, in the going forward in the final report. But also, there'll be、uh, plenty of room、um, for those kinds of things to be considered. So what we're talking about here is different groups sharing the multi-use trail.、Um, there's there's、uh, horse riders, mountain bikers,、uh, walkers, and also There's、um, uh, maybe a third of people who responded to the survey、um, talking about dog walking and, and the potentials there, but of course there's obviously environmental issues on the other side of that.、Uh, there was also some landowner、um, issues that need to be resolved, and、um, 
ongoing maintenance costs of, of whatever um, ends up being there. But the multi-use trail feasibility study is a terrific piece of work and the fact that this has now gone out to consultation and received such great interest and overwhelming positive support I think puts us in good stead as a council to progress this. So the recommendation here is that we are not only endorsing the final draft of the multi-use trail feasibility report but also approving an allocation of $15,000 to be made from the Public Open Space Fund to commence initial survey work to determine those boundaries. So I'm very pleased to um, be privileged enough to be the one to move this forward and I commend it to the Council. Councillor Court over to sum up. Thank you very much Mayor. I'm really pleased with um, with the tenor of this conversation. I think we've had a really robust conversation. We've heard some, some really good points. M my takeaway here is that the report is really transparent about the, the issues that were raised and there's a really um, been a genuine attempt to, to get across all of those issues. And it is overwhelmingly positive, but it, also we all recognise around this table that there are some things we need to overcome. So what we've heard here today is uh, taking learnings from, from history and, and learning from how we can do things better as we move forward, we know that there is a desire for action among the community and that's reflected by simply the sheer number of you know, 160 people engaged in the forum, 125 ideas, 474 votes, 2,000 unique visitors to that forum. Probably a thousand of those were me checking the comments because they were some of them were really positive and others of them were really clever and innovative. Um, the ideas of connecting further to Kanani Mount Wellington, um, the ideas about you know making sure that we do our due diligence with river crossings and maintaining the cultural and natural values, protecting the riparian zone. Uh, I like that this report is transparent about those issues and it doesn't shy away and the fact that we're doing such good planning now and I hope that this will pass resoundingly soon uh, or tonight, we'll be able to then take that public open space fund money and initiate that survey work and by doing all this planning correctly which we're doing now I think we'll be in a very good position to seek external funding and in, indeed as Councillor Grace just mentioned it's a great opportunity to increase the economic activity and the jobs growth within the municipality because of course um, the, the people, there's a huge appetite for getting out and about in nature but doing so in a way that respects nature and is sensitive to cultural and natural values. So I think we've got a terrific opportunity here. I'm really pleased with how well it's come along so far and I look forward to taking action on the next step. Thank you. Okay, the motion moved by Councillor Cordover and seconded by Councillor Fox is that Council A endorse the final draft of the North West Bay multi-use trail feasibility report and B, approve an allocation of 15,000 be made available from the Public Open Space Fund to commence some initial survey work to determine boundaries. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. Those against, motions carried unanimously. Move on to the next item.